Welcome back to the Moran family. So today is Saturday, September 5th. I'm 32 weeks pregnant, which is so crazy. I feel like I cannot keep up with the weeks and they're just flying. Baby girl is going to be here so soon and our baby shower is in a couple weeks, which I'm so excited for. As you guys know, at 30 weeks pregnant, I had to go into the hospital because I was having contractions and I had to be given a shot to stop them. Since then, I've still been having a lot of tightening in my stomach. I am on bed rest, which I'm kind of struggling with because I'm the type of person who likes to do things by myself because I like things done a certain way. But Benny has been amazing. He's been helping so much with the girls. He's been letting me rest. He cooks me food. So I've been able to get a lot of rest. But like I would say for the past like two days, I literally cannot be on my feet for more than five minutes at a time because I get a contraction and I don't know like what is going on. All I know is that I do not want to deliver right now. 32 weeks is pretty early, so I want to at least keep baby girl in there for a couple more weeks. So I'm trying my best to just stay off of my feet, but I also feel like there's so much stuff to be done. I still have to pack my hospital bag because when I had to go into the hospital unexpectedly, I kind of just threw random things in there. And you guys know I like to be prepared. I like to make like lists on my phone. I like to just plan things out and do things a certain way. So when I had to randomly throw things in my bag, it kind of like stressed me out. I ordered some last minute postpartum things off of Amazon, like um, a nursing bra because I needed a new one, um, some Depends, and then some pads for postpartum. So I officially have everything that I need to go into my hospital bag, so I plan on doing that today. I'm not going to show you guys in detail of every single thing that I pack in there today because I do plan on filming that in a separate video. So that's my plan for today is I just really want to get that done. I want to have it packed that way if these contractions do not let up. I don't even have to worry about packing. I can just grab the bag and go. And then I think I also want to pack a small bag for the girls as well because if I do have to go to the hospital, then the girls either need to stay with one of Benny's family members or with my mom. So I need to have a bag of like a couple outfits and some jammies, just a few things for the girls as well. That way, like I said, if I have to go in unexpectedly again, I don't have to worry about packing and I don't have to like scramble and grab things together. So I just wanna have that done. I also need to wash baby girl's clothes because I haven't washed anything. I was trying to hold off until the baby shower, which is this month on the 19th. But like I said, I'm still having contractions. So I just want to get it done. I don't want to have to stress about it. That way I can pack her coming home outfit in my hospital bag and it's all clean. So that is what I want to do today. So here is my hospital bag. I cleared it out of everything that I had in here from my unexpected trip. And then I kind of just have everything laid out. As you can see, I don't really have too much stuff. Like I said, I will film a separate video. That way I can show you guys in detail and I can have everything linked in that video. So these are the outfits that I was planning on packing in my bag. So I have to wash those. And then here is all of baby girl's things right now. So I just have to go through everything, take off all of the tags off the clothes and then wash them. Thank you. <laughs> I had Benny bring me in a chair so that way I, think I, need to I can sit. On. Yeah, it sounds like one of them's loose. Yeah. I'll tell whenever you're done. Don't break it. <laughs> I'm not gonna oh, break it. <laughs> so yeah. Like I said, I'm supposed to be resting, so I am literally gonna sit in this chair, go through all of baby girl's things and just cut off all the tags 
and throw all of her clothes, blankets in there, and then figure out what I'm going to wash today. She has quite a bit of stuff, so I'm probably going to have to break it into like two loads, probably. baby girls things that need to be washed so the drawers are pretty empty now so here is everything that I have to wash I did not realize how much stuff we actually have for baby girl like this might turn out to be three loads because I have this one and then I also have all of this stuff right here. This is like stuff that used to be Aurora's and Layla's. So I have to wash all of this stuff too. So I have this pile right here. And then I have this whole basket right here. So it's looking like it's probably going to be three loads. And this basket is pretty heavy. So I'm going to have Benny carry it. Because I'm not supposed to be carrying like anything that's heavy as well. So... I'm gonna need his help, but I think he's making the girls lunch right now. Since I'm waiting on Benny, since he is feeding the girls, I figured I will give you guys a bump update right now. So here is my big old 32 weeks belly. I feel like she's so low. She's like just all right here i feel like i've grown so much like i feel like i'm definitely at my biggest compared to all of the other girls especially with everly i mean everly was pretty tiny when she was born she was four pounds six ounces but i feel like this was my belly when i went in to deliver everly so i just feel so huge so out of breath which you guys can probably tell when I'm talking to you guys but yeah that is my 32 week bump update so like I said I'm just gonna go throw what's up you want to try some of this pastrami milk I cooked you made a pastrami milk yeah I cooked the meat there's pickles and everything in it what wow, you're gonna make all my beautiful art sorry fall I want to see what's in it it smells really good yeah, it's pickles and then Swiss cheese in it mm, I want to try it Okay, Don't worry, the meat's cooked, guys. That's going to be really good. <laughs> yeah, I know. If you guys didn't know, Benny is hands down the best best cook. In the house. Mm-hmm. It's not me. <laughs> Actually, really good. And I'm going to need your help, too, whenever you're done eating. 
Uh, yeah. Because I didn't realize, I didn't realize baby girl has so much stuff. <laughs> Alright, yeah, we'll, we'll take care of it. So, since Benny is over there eating lunch with the girls, I think I'm just going to go ahead and pack a little bit of my hospital bag. Like I said, I still have to wash baby girl stuff, and then I have to wash an outfit of mine, too, that I want to throw in here for the hospital. But for the most part, I have everything right here. I'm trying to keep my bag as minimal as possible because... It's like baby number four for me. So I feel like at this point, I already know like what is a necessity and what is just like useless in the hospital for me. So this is basically like it right here. So I'm going to just throw it in the bag. Mm, I've been thinking about you. Okay, so I put mostly everything in my hospital bag, but I'm debating on switching it. What do you think, babe? Because you know how this bag is tall? Mm -hmm. I feel like using... Remember the one that I used with Everly? Mm -hmm. This one, that one all the way up there? It's kind of like more of like a... Like a carry-on bag or something? Yeah. I feel like that might be easier. I like this one and I really want to use it. I mean, I'm definitely going to use this my diaper bag, but for my hospital bag, it's just really like deep. So I feel like every time we go in here, when I'm in the hospital, we're going to have to just be like digging things, digging through yeah. it and then like taking things out. Well, whatever you think is easier. I think that one might be. Did you already pack that one? Yeah, but I mean, I just kind of threw everything in here. So it's not a hassle. It's just I need you to get the bag down for me because I don't reach. Okay. Let me just finish tying this up and then. Okay. And you know what I noticed too? What? You know we don't even have one diaper. Okay. For a baby girl? No, it's be a baby That's the one thing we lagged on. We haven't even bought one diaper. We're just going to get her those cloth diapers. Who's going to be washing those? You? You are, dude. I'm not washing those poopy diapers. No way. <laughs> Props to moms who do that, but I I can't. You going to wash sissy's diapers? You guys, that's super, like, unhygienic. Washing them? Like, or using, like, cloth diapers? Cloth... No. Well, I mean, they're better for the environment because disposable diapers aren't really that great. Yeah, but, I mean, are they, like, you know, like, you're, the baby's going in there, number one and number two. <laughs> and right? Like, it has to be something. I don't know. I don't know. To me, I, I want to do it. I don't know. Don't come for the. Don't come for us in the comments. We're just not educated on cloth diapers. Yes. Yeah. Exactly. yeah. So if you guys have any pros and cons, just you know, put them in the comments. <laughs> Educate us. Yeah. Can you get that bag down for me? Yeah, I got you. Yeah. Thanks. Come on, monkey. See, this is the bag I was talking about. I use this one in the hospital I'm with Everly. And I feel like it would just be better because it's wide versus like tall and slim. So that way I can kind of have everything like laid out across. That way we're not like digging. Because Benny is the one who mostly goes through the hospital bags because I'm too busy like laying in the bed and giving birth, all of that stuff. So Benny is the one who mostly like hands me stuff in the hospital. So I feel like this would just be way easier for him versus this one. Especially because this one has so many pockets too, which is nice for our organization. But I already know Benny. He's going to be asking me like, where did you put this? Where did you put that? I can't find it. I this little monster. I did not jump on the bed. Aw, uh, babe, babe. Right. Look what I found in this bag. Remember when I bought this for Everly, but she was so tiny that it didn't fit her head? A little bow. What is that? It's a bow that I bought for Everly, but she was 
so tiny when she was born that it was way too big for her. So the nurses had to make her a bow. Did you know that? Mm -hmm. bow on her Yeah, the nurses actually made her a bow. Like they cut up a bunch of ribbons and stuff and they made her a headband because she was so tiny. So I was in my closet right now and I came across one of my old diaper bags that I used when I was pregnant with Everly and I ended up finding like all of these things. So this book right here, it's kind of like documented everything, like all of my feelings and stuff. So it just brings back like a lot of memories. And then this is the book that I read when I was pregnant with her shortly after we got Everly's diagnosis. I read this book. I highly recommend this book if you had like a stillborn baby, a miscarriage, and you really like lean into God. I highly recommend this book. This book was amazing when I read it when I was pregnant with her. It's about a family who kind of went through something like we did. They decided to carry their baby despite what they were told from doctors. And her story, just Angie's story, really just touched me. So I highly recommend this book if you're going through something like we went through. And then there's just like random stuff in this old diaper bag. There's a baby bottle in here. Unused one. Um, there's some... Um, grip socks in here which I can probably throw in my hospital bag a milk snob nursing slash car seat cover so probably going to wash that as well yeah this was like one of my favorite diaper bags ever <laughs> that I've used it's by the brand Miss Fong and it's their mini size and then here is what my hospital bag now looks like. Like I said, I switched it from that one because I just felt like that one was too deep. So I'm going to be using this one, which is probably going to be a lot better. It looks a lot better because I can like visually see everything that's in here now. But yeah, I just wanted to share some of these things that I found when I was pregnant with Everly. I thought I'd share them with you guys, take you guys down memory lane a little bit because I know a lot of you guys found me when I was pregnant with Everly. Okay, so here is all of baby girl's laundry. I still have a small load in the dryer. It's just whites though. So this is most of her stuff. I folded some of it, but for the most part, I just kind of like laid it out in the basket because I plan on putting everything back in these drawers but I'm gonna like roll them up so that's why I didn't really fold anything because I'm gonna just roll it up anyways so I'm gonna go ahead and put all of this back in here and take out all of this stuff and probably like organize it maybe in that I'm not sure if I'm gonna work on this today but for now the main goal is to just put away all of her laundry This weight on my shoulder is slowing me down I don't know how it came about And while the world is spinning faster every night I feel I'm stuck in reverse somehow But it ain't no one's fault that I am stuck here No one to blame this on, feeling so hopeless I keep on pouring salt on
here's what her drawers look like now. Like I said, I still have a small load in the dryer. It's not done yet, but that's why there's some like empty spaces right here because that stuff is still being dried. So I have her swaddles right here. I have some thick blankets. These two are blankets. These two are crib sheets. This is like a little taggy toy for her. And then a little blankie, like a little levy. And then I have her washcloths. These will probably not stay here. These will probably go like underneath the bathroom sink. But for now I have them in here. And then I have her burp cloths. So this drawer right here is kind of just like blankets, washcloths, crib sheets, all of that stuff. And then this drawer is all of like her clothes and accessories. So this first one right here. Yeah, baby. Oh, thank you. So this first one right here is all of her newborn clothes. So I feel like she has a good amount because I feel like they're not in newborn that long. So that's her newborn. This one is zero to three months. This is kind of like random things right here. So she has some books. I do plan on putting like some shelves right here above her changing station. But for now I just put the books in here and then I just have like a random bottle in here for right now. This needs to be hung up somewhere in here. I'm not sure where I want it yet, but I just stuck it in here for now. And then this one is like her accessories. So here are all of her beanies. And then all of her bows right here. And then all of her pacifiers. I decided to just open all of the packaging because I do plan on sterilizing all of these whenever it gets closer to baby girl being here. So I figured it doesn't matter if they're just thrown in here anyways because they're gonna get sterilized. If you guys have like any recommendations on a good sterilizer, let me know. I never use one with the girls. I always just did like the boiled water on the stove. But I mean, anything to make your life easier. I homeschool. I'm a lot busier nowadays, so I feel like maybe a sterilizer might come in handy. Let me know you guys' thoughts on that. But yeah, this is just all of her like passies, her clips. Over here, I still have some more clothes, but these are like bigger sizes. These used to be Aurora and Layla's. So these are like six months, um, three months, just a lot of bigger sizes. So I think I'm gonna hang these up in the closet. These are little dividers with the sizing on it. So I think I'm gonna hang these up in my closet. And then for now, I'm gonna just hang up the bigger sizes. And then once she outgrows the smaller sizes, I will swap these into the dresser and then take out the smaller sizes and all of that stuff. So yeah, that is everything. All right guys, well I'm gonna go ahead and end this vlog here. I'm gonna go ahead and relax for the day. I hope you guys enjoyed this like organization video with me. As you can tell, I've been nesting, which has kind of been a struggle because I'm supposed to be on bed rest. But if you guys enjoyed this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up. Make sure you guys are subscribed to the Moran family and make sure you hit that bell. That way you guys always get notified every single time we upload and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye guys.